Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here, and in today's episode, I want to show you some differences between the 1000 and the 1100. So here you can see on the screen, I have two programs open. This first one is a MicroLogix 1000, and because it has very limited memory, you can see that all of the files you can actually use, all of the ladder files, all of the ladder program files that you can actually use have already been created. In ladder file number three, four, and five have been assigned certain functions already, as well as ladder 16. So in a 1000, the only uh, ladder files you can use for subroutines are, you know, six through 15. And that's not the case with the 1100. With the 1100, like the Slick 500 PLC5 and Control Logix, you get just one ladder file, a default file, and the, the MicroLogix, Slick 500, and PLC5, they always give you ladder number two, right? But I can make more ladder files. I can make all the way up, you know, two through 255 if I wanted, ladder files. And I just build them as I go because I have a lot more memory to work with. And um, that's great. There's a lot more flexibility there um, in the 1100 when it comes to ladder files than there is in the 1000. And if I wanted to do an STI or a fault routine, I would go into the status file and set that up and choose any ladder file I want. Whereas with 1000, they're already predefined. So with the 1000, if you wanted to use ladder three for your, uh, your subroutine, it's already assigned to the user fault routine.